The University of Massachusetts Boston sits on what is known as the Dorchester Bay, which is right here. Dorchester Bay is located at the southern end of the much larger and better known Boston Harbor. The three main sources of fresh water entering Boston Harbor are the Charles River, Mystic River, and the Ponset River. These rivers, as well as all rivers, are a part of what is known as a watershed. A watershed is defined as the area of land where all the water that is under it or drains off of it goes into the same place. Everyone lives in one watershed or another, and they come in all shapes, sizes, and cross country, state, and national boundaries. These boundaries can easily be identified using a topographic map. Topographic maps are detailed, accurate, graphic representations of features that appear on the Earth's surface. These features include both natural and human-made features such as rivers, lakes, mountains, forests, roads, and buildings. The human-made features are becoming of more concern as it relates to water quality. Changing natural landscapes for human use, such as forested areas being cut down for agricultural or urban use, is deteriorating habitat and causing a decline in water quality. Removing vegetated areas along streams and rivers causes more pollution to enter into the streams and rivers from runoff. Water quality may decline from the increase in sediments and nutrients, such as nitrates and phosphates from fertilizers, causing turbid, nutrient-rich waters. When there is an excess of nutrients in the water, a condition known as eutrophication may occur. Eutrophication is very common in coastal watersheds because these areas tend to be heavily populated. In coastal watersheds, we commonly find estuaries, which tend to be naturally eutrophic due to the high concentrations of nutrients from the land-derived runoff flowing downstream from the rivers. In eutrophic waters, the increase in nutrients causes an increase in phytoplankton productivity. The increase in phytoplankton combined with increased sedimentation from runoff can stop the sunlight from entering the water, which is essential for processes such as photosynthesis. This causes oxygen levels to decrease and decomposition to occur and can be extremely harmful to fish and other aquatic organisms. So how do we stop or reverse this process? What are some things we could promote or do ourselves to help improve water quality? Correct, we could reduce our fertilizer usage plant trees or bushes along riverbanks to help filter and slow the runoff from entering into the streams, or even discourage over-harvesting of our natural filtering organisms such as oysters. This section of the lab will address many of these topics including watersheds, topography, and water quality in efforts to answer the question, how healthy and resilient is your environment? Refer to the lab manual for this week's lab assignment on watersheds and topographic maps. As usual, post your questions on the discussion forum. I hope that you will use this information and material learned to better your environment and encourage others to do the same.